Good Friday, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Conversation Daily News. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. Well, we made it to the end of another week. We, of course, have your news headlines coming up today. We have the truth of the day with Mary Ellen Zaganovich. And in today's entertainment spotlight, you're being part of my conversation with Maria Willis, the owner of Unicorn Dog Grooming LLC in Mississippi. Enjoy today's broadcast. For Conversation Daily News, I'm Cyrus Webb with your Friday headlines in Mississippi news. Mississippi lawmakers okay $3 million for Jackson Water Repairs. Jackson is getting millions of dollars from the state to help fix its water system. After a lot of debate, the Mississippi legislature approved $3 million, much less than the $47 million the mayor wanted. February's water crisis crippled one of Jackson's water treatment plants and left much of the city without running water for a month. After that unprecedented infrastructure failure, the mayor of Jackson sent a letter to state and federal leaders asking for $47 million to pay for overdue repairs. The Republican-controlled legislature approved only $3 million to pay for repairs to the fuel water plant at the Waterworks Curve on I-55. The $3 million that we received on Thursday is nowhere near what we want, but it's a start. $3 million is better than zero, said State Representative Chris Bell from Jackson. None of that money can be spent on the O.B. Curtis plant, which was a source of the initial water system shutdown. They came with a lot of rounded numbers, like, we need $1 million, we need $2 million. So we gave them $3 million to fix up the water plant, or at least get started on that, said the Lieutenant Governor Delbert Hoseman. The legislature also approved a bill to help Jackson fix water billing problems. Sometimes customers go months without getting a water bill, and when they do... They may be charged thousands of dollars. In national news, Biden's jobs cabinet to sell infrastructure as GOP resist. President Joe Biden set about convincing America that it needs his $2.3 trillion infrastructure plan on Thursday, deputizing a five-member jobs cabinet to help in the effort. But the enormity of his task was clear as Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell vowed to oppose the plan every step of the way. Speaking in Kentucky, McConnell said he personally likes Biden and they've been friends a long time. But the president will get no cooperation from the GOP, which objects to the corporate tax increases in the plan and says they will hurt America's ability to compete in a global economy. We have some big philosophical differences, and that's going to make it more and more difficult for us to reach bipartisan agreements, the Republican leader said. White House Chief of Staff Ron Klain said the key to any outreach is that the proposal's ideas are already popular. Americans want smooth roads, safe bridges, reliable public transit, electric vehicles, drinkable water, new schools, and investments in manufacturing among the plan's many components, he said. We kind of think it's just right, Klain said in a televised interview with the news organization Politico. But we're happy to have a conversation with people, less about the price tag, more about what are the elements that should be in the plan that people think are missing. Those conversations could be limited to Democrats, as McConnell declared, I'm going to fight them every step of the way. Biden told his cabinet at his first meeting that he enlisted several of them to help with the push. The Treasury Secretary, the Energy Secretary, the Housing and Urban Development Secretary, the Labor Secretary, and the Commerce Secretary. Working with my team here at the White House, each cabinet member will represent me in dealings with Congress, engage the public in selling the plan, and help organize the details as we refine it and move forward, Biden said. In more national news, Biden launches community corps to boost COVID vaccinations. Seeking to overcome vaccine hesitancy, the Biden administration on Thursday stepped up its outreach efforts to skeptical Americans, launching a coalition of community, religious, and celebrity partners to promote COVID-19 shots in hard-hit communities. The administration's We Can Do This campaign features television and social media ads, but it also relies on a community corpse of public health, athletic, faith, and other groups to spread the word about the safety and efficacy of the three approved vaccines. President Joe Biden's new goal is to give 200 million vaccine doses during his first 100 days in office. And finally in entertainment news, with King Kong, a little swagger returns to the box office. Once again, mayhem and mass destruction is back at the box office. It's almost like old times, says the Associated Press. Godzilla vs. Kong 
one of the few tent poles to dare release during COVID times, is poised this weekend to set a new high in ticket sales during the pandemic. It won't be the kind of blockbuster business such as a big budget release would typically manage, but experts forecast a launch of at least $25 million. Opening day ticket sales on Wednesday for Godzilla vs. Kong totaled $9.6 million, Warner Brothers said on Thursday, a single-day pandemic record and more than most 2020-2021 opening weekend hauls. Cyrus Webb, Conversations with Daily News. It's now time for the Truth of the Day with Mary Ellen Taganovich. Mary Ellen, take it away. Hi, this is Mary Ellen with your Truth of the Day. Relationships are important. Your relationships with people are important. So become willing to make an effort to cooperate. Peace begins within each and every one of us. As we achieve our inner peace, this attitude and feeling of peace will spread outward to our relationships. There are always ways to work things out with those closest to you, as long as that is your choice and you are safe. This sense of peace you find within will then have a ripple effect into your other activities and other relationships. You can choose to see the world as family, an extended family as you share your peace and joy. Today, make an effort to find your peace within yourself. Now share this peaceful feeling with your family, friends, and others. Enjoy the day. Maria Willis is featured in today's Entertainment Spotlight, right here on Conversations Daily News. For Conversations Daily News, I'm Cyrus Webb with the Entertainment Spotlight. Maria Willis of Unicorn Dog Grooming LLC joined me on Conversations Live, the radio show, to talk about her entrepreneurial journey, what it's been like for her to do work that she loves, here's a bit of our conversation. I want to talk about this journey for entrepreneurship for you, Maria. What has it been like for you to have had an idea for a business and then to bring that business to life? Well, uh, it started a long time ago, and I just kind of kept following through with it. Uh, there were some stumbles and some doubt and failures but I wrote it down I kept going with my plan and here I am <laughs> yeah, yeah well I have to say uh, your ears should have been burning because your husband says that you have been very important to his own journey as an entrepreneur what has that been like for you to inspire people by this journey that you're on it's great um, I want everyone to at least even if it's not for you to try it even if it starts out as a side hustle as you know that's what it started out for me you know just try it to see how it feels it's not for everybody it really isn't and that's what makes it so fun but it can be difficult at the same time I want to talk about passion for a moment because I I firmly believe, Maria, that passion is so important to anything that we do, especially if we want to be consistent in it. Do you find that because the business is about not only, of course, about dogs, let's say, but also people, that that passion for both is kind of what makes it something that you wanted to do? Definitely, definitely. You have to be passionate about it. You have to love what you do. And I get a lot of questions about people ask me, well, aren't you afraid or don't you get bit? And I'm like, of course. But if I didn't love what I do, then those little things, those little moments would deter me. And that would make me happy. Cyrus Webb, Conversations Daily News. We thank you all for tuning in to this edition of Conversations Daily News. We hope you guys on Monday with more news, Truth of the Day with Mary Ellen Taganovich, and of course your entertainment spotlight. Until then, I'm your host Cyrus Webb saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Daily News today. Let's make it a great one.